difference between a lease purchase that sold as no credit check, walk away lease, uh, you know, no no commitment versus a, a you know an opportunity that's being offered to you through ES, and um, you know it's it's a commitment. Uh, it's you know it's about true ownership. It's about you know, sure, try it and make sure that you're you're profitable and successful. But then, when once you make the commitment, you know we're committed to you and you're committed to you. Well, an owner operator, their their primary duty is to pick up and deliver freight. Right? It's it. They don't get paid for all of the business in between, though it's crucial to their livelihood and they, they need that just as much as you and I need to be able to get up and get a cup of coffee and, you know, on our break, um, that's not what they're paid for. They're paid to deliver and get a signed bill of lading. Um, you know, to, to have back office support, uh, deeper discounts that are fully passed through to the driver. To the owner operator um, to have connections and business advice and a a um, you know a sounding a sounding board to run ideas concerns success stories by is is something that every owner operator wants and needs and um, you know expediters is offering them an opportunity to have that kind of support while still working independently. Where at a carrier and in a lease purchase program, sometimes that support costs them more money. The discounts are less deep. Um, they may not fully be passed through to the owner operator. They, are, they may not have as much choice or freedom in, um, you know, in what they do and how they do it. And so there's, there are many advantages to how they, they operate with ES. There's research about the needs of women versus men, not just in their everyday life, but also in business. Um, and a, a few of the, the thoughts that I have about that is, you know, women want to have deeper relationships and contact with the folks that they work with. They, they like to have um, not just financial or business support, but also some emotional support as they navigate the waters. Um, you know, the owning their own, their own truck means that they can have um, security type tools that are added to the truck so that they feel safe when they're out on the road. They're not dealing with a company spec equipment that they can't make changes to. Um, they might need a pet that offers both security and support when they're out on the road. So there are many advantages to a woman being supported through a program through ES versus working with a traditional carrier that has a, a program that is um, you know, specced out and shaped a certain way rather than shaped the way that meets the needs of that owner operator. I'm passionate about, about opportunities for truck drivers and about driver retention. I, I have never understood, I've been in trucking almost 20 years and I've never been able to understand what I call the churn and burn that can happen at some fleets, not all, but at some fleets that, um, you know, that are able to operate with turnover that's in the 80% and above uh, on a very regular basis and consider that normal, that, um, that can sell a, a driver on a job and an, on, an op on an opportunity and a lifestyle within a company and orient them and invest in them only to see them leave within six weeks of, of working at the company. I, I think that failure in lease purchases, which as I mentioned before, is, is almost like that, that final upgrade for a truck driver to graduate in as they, as they um, pass through opportunities in their career and, and excel and, and really find both true independence, true profit, and true ownership for themselves. 
and they see that as an opportunity in a lease purchase program because it's available within their company, business is good and they, they see what they're doing as an employee and they want to have that same success as an owner operator. So they jump into a lease purchase and fail over and over and over again. And it's a, another reason that we lose drivers in the industry. So if we are continuing to be successful at offering opportunities to drivers, both women and men in the industry through the program and services with ES, then I see that not only is there opportunity for true ownership for drivers that are in the industry now, but also potentially a way for us to better retain drivers and to, to grow in an area where they're so needed.